Nicole Curtis, sued by entire city of Minneapolis. Nicole Curtis has come under fire. And not just for the dumb name of her HGTV series this time. Instead, the city of Minneapolis has sued Curtis Company, Detroit Renovations, claiming the rehab addict host failed to renovate a dilapidated home her firm bought from the city in 2013. For just two dollars. According to legal documented obtained by Consumerist, the HGTV star and her company failed to adhere to the terms of a contract they entered into with Minneapolis. This contract called for Curtis to fix up a property in North Minneapolis, while also completing a list of basic improvements within 365 days. The lawsuit was filed in January but only just made public this week. It states that Detroit renovations failed to substantially complete the minimum improvements on the property. It also claims the company hasn't paid property taxes or maintained insurance on the residents. The city claims a breach of contract has been made and asks the court to take the property away from Curtis. On Rehab Addict, Curtis and her team renovate historic houses around Michigan and Minnesota. It debuted on HGTV in October of 2010. No, I'm not a writer. Okay. The Minneapolis Star Tribune reports that Curtis attorneys responded in court filings that the small screen personality admits the residence in question has not been renovated. However, that the company was prevented and or delayed from completing performance, of the contract's terms, due to the acts of plaintiff and the acts of third parties. As for how city officials even learned about the state of the property? The tribute states they received numerous complaints from neighbours about unsafe conditions. Curtis isn't keeping quiet about this controversy. She responded to the lawsuit on social media, saying on Instagram that she's told her employees to to ignore the negativity. She added. The only way I've gotten this far is by staying on my path and remembering that those that have the time to disband such hate on others. Well, let's just say happy, successful people don't do that. Curtis went on to slam her critics as energy suckers, while referring to herself as an energy giver. Among other reactions she's shared on social media. Curtis is a mother of two. She embroiled in a child custody battle with the father of her 20-month-old son, Harper. And she's only the latest HGTV personality to get caught up in a headline-making scandal. We all know about Christina and Tara Kelmusa at this point, right? The hosts of Flip or Flop are getting a divorce, following a violent confrontation last spring, and are in the news these days more often for updates on their relationship status than for anything having to do with buying and fixing up homes. Chip and Joanna Gaines, meanwhile, comprise the beloved couple at the center of Fixer Upper. They reside in Texas and were dragged into a story late last year that centered around the pastor at a church they frequent, with a BuzzFeed reporter wondering about Chip and Joanna's views on gay people in light of some of that pastor's comments. Chip called for general respect during this scandal, 
which appears to have at least blown over for the stars. Unlike the Elmuses and Curtis, allegedly, they didn't actually take any kind of inappropriate action to earn the scorn of longtime fans and viewers. Will this lawsuit threaten the future of rehab addict on HGTV? Only time, folks, will tell. Only time.